Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Canvas to split um, the Regal monogram font. I've done a previous video showing how this can be done in Inkscape, but I'm going to show you how you can do it in Canvas. You do have to start the font off in Inkscape, but then the actual splitting process can be done in Canvas. So I've got Inkscape opened and I'm going to choose the text tool and I've already got Regal chosen and I'm going to type a letter M. So I'm just going to click once on the page and type an M and then I'm going to hit the select icon to select this. I'm going to hold the control key down on the keyboard and I'm going to drag it out until it's about six inches or six and a half inches just so that it's easier to work with and easier to see on the screen. Now because it's a font it won't necessarily open in canvas unless we do a command here in Inkscape. So while this letter is selected you go to path union which then turns it into a path and while it's still selected, you need to break it apart here in Inkscape. So you go to Path, Break Apart. And I don't know if you can see, but all the parts that make up this font now have got dotted lines around them. So we're now going to save this as an SVG file. So it doesn't have to be selected to save it. So you can either leave it selected or you can unselect it. It doesn't really make any difference, but you have to save it. So we go File save as, I'm going to call it m.svg and I'm going to put it on my desktop and save it. And we've finished with Inkscape now, so I'm just going to minimise it. I'm not going to close it just in case the file doesn't open in Canvas, but it should do. So here's the file now on my desktop, msvg. I'm already in Canvas with a blank page. I'm going to come to the SVG icon navigate to my desktop which is where this file is and choose the file. I know I've got the right file because it tells me so there and I'm going to say OK. Now what you've got to remember about this file is that we separated it, we broke it all apart while we were in Inkscape. So if you click on it you'll see that the file is made up of separate sections. So I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything and just move it all into the middle of the page just to make it easier to work with and I'm just zooming in a little bit more. So now we've got to actually do the physical divide. So I'm going to come over here to basic shapes. I'm going to choose a square and I'm going to come to the, while it's selected, I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to make sure maintain aspect ratio is unticked and then in here I'm going to type 0 0.75 and in this next one I'm going to type 7.5 so that's inches and say OK and close that down and that's just given me a box now that's longer than my original design because if you remember in Inkscape I made this about six and a half inches wide so this box I'm just going to colour with red just so you can see it on screen. You don't have to do this but it does sometimes help for you to actually see it while you're working with it. So while it's selected I'm going to come over here and fill it with red. Now I'm going to get this box and I'm going to place it roughly centre in the middle of my letter. And what I'm doing, there's two blue circles in the middle here, I'm lining them up with the middle of this letter M. And this has to be on top and this is why it's a good idea to have it coloured in because you can clearly see that no parts of the M or any of its design are showing through this red so you know the red is on top. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything to make sure I've got everything and I'm going to come up here to the third icon along in this set and it's called Remove Overlap and I'm going to click that. Make sure the blue and black um, software lines show along the top here so you know the software's done something and it doesn't look as though anything's happened but I'm just going to select the red rectangle and drag it away and you can see now that it's divided it. Now, these are still 
if I click on it in sections. Some of it will look as though it's all one because that's the letter M. But if I click in the middle here, there's a section there. And if I click here, I can see that's a section. And what I want to do, I want to have this half as one part of the design. So I'm going to start just above it here and left click and drag an imaginary box. And the minute I start to drag, you can see it's instantly grabbed hold of the letter M. So while it's like that, I'm going to right click and hit divide. Now it doesn't always do it, I found. Um, so if you left click to deselect and just drag again, and then again, you can see I'm trying to get the bottom half, but it's picking up the M. So I'm going to go to right click and divide. And this time I've got the blue and black strap that means it's actually done something. So again, I'm going to start about here and try and drag and just get the bottom half. Now this time I've got it all. If when you're starting to drag across here, it starts to pick up other sections above you'll have to keep doing the right click and divide and you'll have to keep doing that until you can just select one complete half of the design albeit the bottom or the top whichever it is you're trying to grab so I can get all these parts now without touching anything here so I'm going to right click and hit group and that makes them a group and I can now just use the arrows on my keyboard and move it down to give me a bit more room. So this time I want to select these and again these are all in bits so I'm going to start here, left click and just drag and because I know the bottom half is separated this time I should be able to get all the top halves and again I'm going to right click and hit group. So that's now one group and as you can see I've got everything and this is another. So I'm going to come back to this now. I'm going to go to the properties box and I'm going to take it down to half an inch. I'm still going to leave it at its original uh, width but just make it a half an inch high and while it's selected I'm going to create a duplicate. So I'm going to bring one down here and position it over here, select both of those and go to edit, align, center and that lines them both up centrally and then I'm going to come to the first icon which is weld and it's welded everything. Now the reason that the majority of it's red and there are some bits that are black is because these black bits if you zoom in will probably not be connected to the design so if I select on the big portion of the red and move you can see that these are not welded to anything they're just loose elements of the design so I'm just going to hit return so that doesn't affect the cutting file but you do need to make them a group so I'm going to drag a box round all of these again now and right click and group and that's now one group which I can move everything together so I'm going to come to this bring this one over here. Now when you're welding it doesn't matter whether this red box is on the top or on the bottom. In some things we do when we're subtracting or overlap or removing overlap it does but for welding it doesn't normally. So you can see this is behind because the black's showing on top so hopefully when I select everything and go edit align center and then go to weld it it should still weld. Okay these are still little bits, as I said, this is a main bit, but you can still see I've got some sections there that are separate. So again, I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything there and right click and group. And the reason I think that everything went black this time was because the black was the, the dominant colour on top. On this one, I had the red on top, so it turned all this red but these loose bits stayed black because they were at the back, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to turn this one all to black now so that it all looks the same. And that's our split monogram. Now, this might make a nice design for Mother's Day. So I'm going to come to the text, just choose a font, double click, hit the backspace to get rid of the original text and type Mum. 
and then I'll fill this in with black just so it all looks the same and then you might want to put that move that down you might want to make this one bigger to fill if we select everything edit align center so it all lines up together and that would make a nice Mother's Day gift you could cut it in vinyl mount it onto some card and frame it or you could put it on a canvas or you could shrink it down and put it on a card but when you when you shrink something down this this original if I group all this now you'll see how what size it is so it's about seven and a half inches tall by seven and a half wide so if you start to hold your shift key down and shrink this down now you've got to be mindful that some of these shapes here will be quite tiny I'm just going to undo it so that's how you can split a font in canvas as I say because it's a font that we're not using in the canvas software we have to start it off in Inkscape but providing you follow the steps I showed you at the at the beginning and break it all apart it's then easy enough to deal with once you get it into canvas so I hope you found that helpful please like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.